Got to have time to play and practice. So maybe we'll get some now. Nick, have you had a chance to speak to Cam and Hootie? And, and yeah, I've talked to them, and there's nothing really different on it. We're still gathering information about, you know, the circumstance and the situation, and uh, we'll figure out whether there's something internally we need to do uh, that's appropriate relative to um, what the situation is. How's your, your uh, theory on Taiyu? You, you know, discipline players and discretion of all those things. Look, I, I'm not going to talk about that right now. I mean, you, you've been around here for nine years, have you not? How do we do it? We do it internally. It's not something that we vet publicly, and we're not going to do it today. So, you know, if, we're, if we can change their behavior, Based on what we do, that would be the purpose of discipline. Discipline is not necessarily just punishment, uh, which a lot of people view it that way. Uh, it's how do you change somebody's behavior so they have a better chance to be successful. That's the way we've always done it. That's the way we try to do it. Um, that's the way I'd like to do it with my own children. Uh, I think that's the way most parents would like to do it with their children. Is there any, any roster question you can spring? Any players go off? Um, not and any, I mean, I think everybody knows about the Charles Baldwin situation, so we will announce these things when they come. Uh, I mean, look, I appreciate what you all have to do, but I don't know why we can't do our job and release things in the appropriate fashion. Nick, last night you were uh, at the Carrie Good Foundation event. I guess, can you speak to your relationship with them? And, and you reached out to him originally when he was diagnosed. And, made some advances with Emory, and why'd you do that? Well, because, you know, Kerry Good is someone who's been a great ambassador for the University of Alabama. Uh, I think, you know, his family has contributed with four brothers playing at the university um, to the tradition of the school uh, in, a, in a, you know, really positive, huge way. Um, and I, I think that's what makes the University of Alabama special is people are interested in, you know, taking care of, uh, our own in a way in terms of the loyalty that we have with the people who have been involved in the program and um, you know this is you know we've had two guys now Kevin Turner and now Kerry Good that has suffered from this disease and uh, you know Lou Gehrig disease you know his great speech in Yankee Stadium was 77 years ago and it doesn't seem like we have uh, a whole lot better way of dealing with this disease now and what we had then um, so uh, this is one of the things that we want to try to be an advocate of so that, um, you know, m maybe someone in the future can benefit. And I'm sure that's what, what Kerry's, you know, goal and purpose is in terms of bringing awareness to this so that uh, maybe we can make progress in the future. Coach, you've been a proponent of having a college football commissioner uh, a little while back when you were candidate, but this is a political season. Do you have any that you'd like to endorse, somebody you you have in mind? You know, no, I, I don't or? endorse anybody for it. Uh, I don't endorse anybody for president. I don't endorse anybody for uh, college football commissioner. Um, I, I just think that philosophically it's not about who. To me it's about uh, I think there are issues, whether it's issues with the NFL relative to the number of players that come out for the draft or uh, whether it's player safety rules that we have in college football, whether it's things like um, you know, these camps that we're having all over the place that are going to take a significant amount of time away from uh, coaches being away from campus when, you know, you hope that you would be able to spend some time with your own players and developing your own team. So there's a lot of issues that uh, maybe somebody who just looked at everything from the top of the house and never really looked at it from um, their conference standpoint or what their agenda might be as a program uh, would be would be beneficial and I know this is very difficult for the NCAA to do because you really need to get people who are sort of aware of what's happening um, that have experience in the game and can anticipate some of the unintended consequences we have of some of the things that we do. Are there any more here issues you're hoping to bring up at Destin in a few weeks? Um, you know, not really. I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll discuss some of the some of the things that um, you know I just mentioned. Um, but I, I also think that there's uh, a place for ten, you know, coaches, you know, on a staff. Um, I think the numbers just work out better with a special teams coach. That uh, you could have nine and a special teams coach. And um, you know, I've also brought up the fact that if we're going to change how we recruit, 
and we're going to have satellite camps all over the country uh, that coaches are going to be required to go to, kind of like we went through 25 years ago when you used to go to college all-star games all summer. Um, and my wife was beating me over the head, and I could never see the players that I coached because going to all-star games everywhere in the country. Well, can't do that anymore, but now we're going to go do satellite camps. And every high school that's got a prospect is going to have a satellite camp, and every coach in the country is going to be expected to be there. Um, and all these things happening are going to create a circumstance where this is time that we spent with our players. Uh, and I still believe that it's most beneficial to have people come to your campus, not for recruiting purposes, but, you know, our camp is not a tryout camp. You know, it is actually a three-day camp where we try to enhance uh, the development of football players so they can improve and play better for their team. Um, and they get exposed to the way we do things at the University of Alabama, so that might have some benefit in the future. So um, th th there's a lot of things that I'm sure we'll, we'll talk about, but um, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to hearing what everybody else has to say about it. Okay.